That's what I get. Now, just wait. Once it turns on. All right, welcome to Obsessed Garage if you're here from uh, some other uh, technology pursuit. Uh, generally what I do is wash cars on camera and talk too much. Uh, but what we're gonna do today is unbox a very uh, frivolous but um, exciting purchase for me. And that is uh, Apple, uh, what do we call it? The Pro XDR, but with nano textured glass. I've got pretty insane lighting in here. Uh, we've got uh, 19 four bulb 5K fixtures, which isn't the best lighting for an office environment. Uh, and so the concept here is to have my desk sitting right next to my car lift, which is behind you on camera. Uh, and so I wanted to have a computer here. I do a lot of um, a lot of really sophisticated emailing and uh, shopping for things, Bryce behind you here behind me here working the camera has made sure to remind me that uh, I don't need a seven thousand dollar display to uh, uh, to check emails but I'm doing it anyway because I can and I get to make this video and make like thirty seven dollars on the uh, AdSense revenue so my buddies at Sweetwater they become my buddies because I bought uh, a lot of crap from them lately uh, sent sent me this stuff and by sent I mean, I went in a shopping cart and paid $7,000 and they sent it to me. Maybe someday, if I keep making Sweetwater videos, I'll get sponsored. I don't want sponsorship, because then that means I have to say nice things. But what if I don't like it? So I also bought the stand and I searched high and low and you know all the usual suspects and you know, I watch uh, you know, MKBHD or you know Linus Tech Tips and I Justine and uh, I don't think any of them have gotten the nano texture glass version uh, I really didn't want to pay that extra thousand bucks for it but I think in this environment with the lighting that I have I don't think having the regular glass would work nearly as well so we'll see if that affects our black level or contrast ratio or anything like that in real in real life but i am a huge sucker for apple products i actually bought a dell uh, 32 ultra wide and uh somebody in the last live stream i did uh, said what are you doing screwing around just get the one you're gonna end up getting anyway and he was 100 percent right and so i secretly didn't tell my uh, like Chris who manages the business that I'm buying it and uh, tried to sneak it through the cracks. I'd forgotten that uh, yeah he manages the uh, books, so there was no getting it by him. But anyway, I bought it and here it is. So I have bought the um, shoot, what's is it uh, Ergotron er Ergotron yeah Ergotron. Uh, arms, monitor arms, about a human scale arm in the past. So this is the this is the third iteration of a L-shaped sophisticated desk that I put together. Uh, and the first round I did the monitor arms. I just don't like them. They just take up too much space. You have to move the desk too far off. The way to do it would be to you know mount it or drill a hole through your desk. I'm just not. I don't. I don't. I don't like how that setup works. So I found that using just the arm or the monitor, the stands that come with the monitor, is the best option. And so I had to pony up and buy the Apple stand. So say what you want. I'll be glad that I did. Yeah, that feels like a expensive piece of aluminum. So I'm sure I'm gonna take a lot of heat from a lot of people, but you know what? You only live once. Why not do what you want? At least that's the way I look at it. So this desk that we're looking at here, I'm gonna be doing a whole, I'll be doing a whole setup video 
uh, coming up here soon. Once I get this all done, uh, I'm going to do a Yellowtech mic and um, Shure SM7B as well for recording. But uh, this desk is a custom, so the, 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 the legs are, are uplift. And my friend Mark at uh, Blue Tree knocked it out of the park with this. Uh, this is a 26 inch deep, I'm sorry, 25 inch deep uh, um, L shaped desk that then transitions into my countertop here on my Sonic uh, Sonic cabinet. So sort of a hybrid garage slash desk setup that I came up with when we had this little cut out here, this little nook to work with. And so since I've spared no other expense, I'm gonna be running this on my 16 inch I'm a MacBook Pro. Uh, I thought about getting an iMac, uh, but I, I, I have, I, I travel too much between here and my house too often. So it made a lot more sense for me to just use my 16 inch MacBook, MacBook Pro instead of, wow, this box is amazing. Then, uh, then to get a, like an iMac Pro or a Mac Pro. I'd love to get a Mac Pro, but I think Bryce would quit if I did that. <laughs> so there's the stand and it has typical Apple fit and finish and the feet or the, uh, I don't think it's going to scratch my, my desk, but I did want to just put a towel down here so I didn't scratch this up while I'm unboxing the monitor. Let's, um, let's get this out of the main box on the ground here and then we'll grab the Apple box. I'm not as excited as I thought it would be, Bryce. Is that buyer's remorse setting in? Is that what it is? Oh yeah. I'm getting jaded in my, oh my gosh, it's heavy. My ability to buy cool stuff. I'm not gonna be I'm not your spec guy on this thing. There's plenty of videos talking about specs. I just wanted to see, make a video and show you what it looks like. Let's do this. We'll set our stand over here in place. I'm likely going to relocate the power outlet here. I wanted to get everything in place and see what it what it looks like before making any significant changes to the wall. So they come with a fancy little cleaner, which I'll leave in the box. Comes with a rather fancy Thunderbolt 3 cable. It's a, uh, no, it's, it's um, fabric. And then the black, oh yeah, the, uh, Power cord also has this fabric lined power cord. I'll keep all this nice. Keep it nice and ready to sell for when I um, go bankrupt and have to uh, liquidate all this fancy stuff. I'll, uh, I'll have it ready to pack a package up and make it look like new. We'll just leave this in here. We've got plenty of things here to clean the glass without scratching it. You do the same thing, use the same thing you use on your car. Tint safe glass cleaner. So, what's the best way to lift this? I'm sure they've thought this through. Packaging is so legit. I think, I think my Dell monitor would have come like this, Bryce. Dell monitor doesn't cost seven thousand dollars. <laughs> don't be so. Don't be so negative. I'm being a realist. I don't want your realism. I think this is going to be the right move. And this just magnetically pops in place. The speakers in the way, dude. That's perfect. Gosh, I'm good at shopping for stuff. 
keep this looking pretty for future sale. Actually, you know, I had the Apple Thunderbolt display. When did I get it? 2011, and I sold it last year. So I had that display for eight or nine years. I assumed that I would have this something similar to where, you know, you have to remember that my life is the computer, you know, and then you see all like the tech vloggers and stuff that are sharing, sharing with you all these, all these products. I mean, this is their life. A lot of them will get these things lent to them. I had bought this, but I'm on my computer probably seven hours a day. And so I look at it as a investment. Yeah, that's legit. So the bigger question, I'm gonna get the computer set up. The bigger question is how does the nano texture glass do? I can already tell it was the right move because I see no, no glare, no reflection. I can't see myself at all. And with the lighting in here, I didn't want to have to turn all the lights off every time I did anything. Oh, yeah, 32 is the right size for this desk too. I'd love to have two of them. <laughs> but I can't fit two of them. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is pro, Bryce. So there's a little switch back here on the side in order to make it go vertical. My Apple iPhone, Bryce. So you press the little switch in order to get it to rotate. It's working real good right now. <laughs> it's working real good. You have to be all the way up, that's why. That's pretty sharp, pretty smart. So if it's not all the way up, it won't disengage, but if it's all the way up, then you can do that, and it'll allow you to rotate. It snaps in place. It's pretty slick. I'm in love. I'm such a sucker for fit and finish. And so, I'll come through here. I haven't, uh, we'll be doing a whole video series on the setup of this desk, but getting all the wiring and all of that dialed in, we'll address that in another video. So today I'm just gonna jank it together and turn it on. I'm gonna have to open up my MacBook until I get the mouse set up. Here we go. Let's bring my desk down. Make sure nothing gets hung up. Oh, I'm so glad I did this glass, dude. Yes. This is fantastic. I think I could probably just put my UA right in the middle here. Might work well. I've got a headphone amplifier that I've got to put somewhere too. Probably gonna mount that under the desk. Chrome's looking so good on that display, Matt. Oh my, look at that. Let's check my emails. Come on, open a couple tabs, bro. This is the worst video I've ever made. got too excited. I'm like, let's make a great video of this. And uh, I'm like, no, let's just do it right now. We did order some lights and uh, a couple of C stands so we can do, uh, do some overhead unboxing of crap in the future. But for now, this is what we got. Wait a minute, they give you a regular USB with your magic mouse? Yeah. What is this? 2015? 20, like 2014? Yeah, well, can't have it all, Bryce. Better than having to run Norton antivirus on my computer. Sure they make it. Also, worst design for charging a mouse with everything. Yeah, I'm not very smart. Yeah, we'll cut all this part out. You're just looking to catch some gold nuggets, aren't you? Oh, it, looks, it looks good on camera though. So I like the idea of having the, the MacBook sitting there. That way I can just walk in and set it down, not have to try to reach in the back. The tricky part is I, I, don't, I don't know if I have enough room to put my Yellow Tech mic there. What's going on here? You gonna turn on or what? Blew up, Bryce. 
We're screwed. <laughs> Come on. The other cool thing is I don't have to run a separate power connection. But because the display doesn't have Thunderbolt daisy chain, which is kind of dumb, it has Thunderbolt in, but no Thunderbolt. So it only has one Thunderbolt connection, I think. And apparently it's broken. They don't have power on these things. There we go. I don't know about this nanotexture glass business. You can see the grain in the texture. You know what I'm saying? It's like a matte screen where you can see like the... I can see the texture. Let's see what I look like. We'll get copyrighted. Brand new power channel ground, but I'm just going to have to suck it up here. They, they, there's no audio on board on these. So that fan... All right, in about two seconds, you you forget about, you don't see the texture anymore. You can only see it like if I'm looking for it. Put on some uh, Netflix HDR and there you go. Yeah. I can't put any of that on YouTube because it'll... I like that I got all black cables. We get a black... Uh, I'm gonna get a black boom, mic boom. Cable's bad. Thunderbolt cables are so darn finicky. You know this one worked. Okay, now plug the monitor in. Go ahead. Put these in a bag, would you? Yes, sir. Everybody's got a big power delivery. Right. We're getting on the other side. Does it matter which one? No. Well, I'm getting seven thousand bucks back. Or is that, that Dell's looking pretty good, right? <laughs> oh boy. I wonder, it reminds me of like old USB noise. Like you would get a mouse and you would move it around and it would make your speakers go like, make weird noises. It doesn't even matter if this thing's on. Let's try this. Off. It's just and there's like no power. power. No power. But then if you plug this. Unplug that. Stop picking up your... Oh, that sounded like it was. <laughs> it was making the noise right when you were doing it. What if we... The easy change? Yeah. I mean, what I could do is just go... Yeah, as soon as we get to the Apollo, Now we can hear the hard drive spinning. It's like, is the Mac Pro display sending a dirty signal or something? Like, a dirty charge signal, a power signal? Like, I don't, is that, is that a thing? <laughs> okay. I'm a little sad, because it doesn't freaking work. So it's gonna have to go back. So, here's the procedure. If I do, and I take the monitor, and I plug it in, That's what I get. Now, just wait. Once it turns on. Yeah. 
$5,000 laptop, $7,000 monitor. Now we can fix it, sort of, if I do this, unplug it, take power, separate power, give it power first. So I got a third cable I gotta plug in, even though this is supposed to power it. And then I plug in. And it sort of works, I still get feedback, just not as loud. So we tried Apollo Twin X, we tried headphone amplifier, uh, the whatever, the monolith, AAA. Doesn't appear that we get anything to the headphone amplifier, any, any kind of feedback. So that one kind of worked. Um, we also tried Bryce's, whatever that, you know, Audio GD. Audio GD, headphone amp, that one, created feedback. We've tried to focus right uh, 2i2 feedback or you know noise it's not really feedback it's just straight noise so my dream of um, obviously I dial in the wiring my dream of Apple display and to be able to record audio listen to audio it would be you know if this was 1500 bucks and I had this little bit of feedback. I mean, the air conditioner is probably louder than the feedback that we're getting, the noise that we're getting. But again, it's a $7,000 display that I've got to plug in a separate external power supply in order to make it work. Um, I'm not doing that. The other thing I would highly, highly recommend against the nano texture glass I mean, it is textured, like the, the crispness, crispness that you're accustomed to, especially on a 6K display, is just not any good. You know, all the edges are... <sighs> not good. So now what do I do? Do I buy an iMac Pro? We could solve all this problem with buying a Mac Pro, but that's another, you know, eight, eighty, five hundred bucks for like a minimum standard that I would buy. I'm not doing that. I don't know what to do. I think I might buy an iMac. This is the first Apple product I've ever been disappointed with. So we're doing okay. So Bryce, don't get too bent out of shape. Don't get too excited over there. But I went for it on this one. This is a bad one. To not be able to do audio, have any kind of audio interface. Something to do with power, the power supply. So again, the monitor is powering with, um, was it 87 watts back to the MacBook, the 16 inch MacBook so that I can run the i9 processor and run the you know faster MacBook Pro. Uh, without having to run a separate external power supply. I'd be okay with doing this procedure where I plug the power supply in first. Uh, of course, you know, what I'm talking about with the power supply is this. As soon as you unplug that, back to noise. So, it's, oh, it's 96 watts, not, not 87 watts. So if you run, so the, the monitor is supposed to apply, supply 96 watts of power but it doesn't, or it does, but it can't handle then. We get this awful noise feedback. It's not the speakers, it's not the audio interface, it's not the cables, it's the MacBook Pro combined with how this is feeding power. And so we have this same noise. It's not volume dependent. So there's no volume dependency of it. So we have all of this noise without um, any input other than the monitor turning on. So if I plug this back in, it doesn't go away. The only way to do it is to unplug the monitor. We have power first, plug the monitor back in, 
and then it takes it down to we end up with like 10% of the of the noise. I don't want 10% of the noise for 7,000 bucks. When if I eliminate the monitor and go directly into my laptop, it's clean, crystal clear, crystal clean. No feedback, no noise, no issue. So I'm gonna call Sweetwater and tell him um, I don't like to return stuff. But this one, it's too much. Don't buy the nano texture glass. Don't do it. It's not worth the anti-glare for the it's kind of you can see it like through the monitor. It looks washed out and almost pixelated. Thanks for watching. Sad day. I don't know what to do. I told Bryce I was gonna yell at the camera, but I'm too broken hearted. Have a good one. I'll let you know when I turn out, what I end up buying. Even got frickin' title. Ready to go. Ah, oh, come on. The mouse just died. Could this be the <laughs> still recording? <laughs> could this <laughs> Could this be the uh, move back to PC for old Maddie? Speakers are crooked. Life is crooked. Desk isn't in straight anymore. Turn that freaking camera off. <laughs>